Hi you lovelies, I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm coming to you with a shoe comparison video. I am comparing the Gucci Brixton loafers with the Prada chocolate loafers. Even though these shoes are very different from each other, I get the question, which one should I get? <laughs> very frequently. The Prada loafers I have had now for more than four months and the Gucci loafers have been with me for the last uh, two years. So I think I can give you a good review on these. I will also style them. As usual, I will link everything you see in the cutaways and also everything I am wearing in the description box below. And I will also, of course, include all the sizes I am wearing. With these shoes, I have a ton of uh, styling photos and videos on Instagram. So if you wanna see how I wear these shoes on a daily basis, please check out my Instagram account because then you get a good picture of, you know, how I style these shoes for every day. Let's start with the Gucci loafers. I got these shoes around the first lockdown. I don't know before or after, but around that time. So I didn't get the chance to go to the cobbler and have them rubber sold. With these kind of shoes, I would highly, highly recommend you, you know, having them rubber sold because they are first of all very, very slippery, and second of all, you know, the sole is made out of leather and it gets ruined very fast, basically. So this version is called Brixton and the color is called uh, Taupe. Now, this color is very hard to find. I think they have discontinued this color, but I will do my best to find it and I will link it down below for you if I find it. But I know that they do this exact same color in a loafers, no, in a mule version. That one will be linked down below as well for you. And I will also find really good dupes or alternatives for these uh, loafers and uh, they will also link down below for you. With the Brixton version of these loafers, you can wear them as a mule, like so, but I have never done that. I love how soft, you know, buttery soft this leather is. And because of its softness, it takes on the shape of your foot very quickly. And I love that about them. They are very comfortable. And by the way, uh, the shoes I'm showing to you are both in size 42. I love to wear these shoes with either barefoot or with really thin socks. Uh, I don't love wearing them with thick socks. I don't find them very comfortable with thick socks. Another thing about these shoes, comparing them with these chunky loafers, is um, they are because they have a very thin sole they are not in my opinion not as comfortable as, as these and i never thought i would say that because i find these very comfortable but having this now to be honest i gravitate more towards these i find them very very comfortable even though even though these are a bit too wide they are too wide for my feet and I would never, I think I would never wear them bare feet because I need my socks to fill the void, you know, in these shoes. And um, with these, I don't need that. They are uh, perfect, but as I said, because of the thin sole, they are comfortable, but I can't walk as much in these as I do in these. I, I think these shoes are perfect for every day and I could walk in them, you know, hours and hours and hours. They are just great. I love them. Of course, I mean, they are very comfortable, but they are not trainers. Just bear that in mind. They are still, you know, court shoes. Another thing, these shoes look actually quite heavy, but they are not as heavy as you would uh, assume they are. So you would be surprised how light actually they are. They look heavier than they are. I have tried the high street versions of these shoes and none of them were as light as these. Going back to, the, to these loafers, I find these loafers so easy to style. I mean, because of the color, as you can tell, this color goes with everything I have and therefore they are so easy to style for me. But having said that, sometimes I, you know, styling my outfits, I was thinking, ah, it would be nice to have a pair of 
black loafers because I am not really a high heel uh, girl and uh, there was a gap for black loafers in my wardrobe so when Prada came out with these kind of shoes I knew I will have them at some point and when I went to the store to try them I fell in love I felt that was love at first sight I tell you <laughs> I have a video on these shoes I will link it up here for you but uh, long story short, these shoes are from the men's section because Prada lady shoes come up to 41 and a half and I need 42 so I had to get them from men's section. And you know the only difference is that of course they are a bit wider because men's shoes are usually a bit wider than women's shoes and they are not as glossy as the women version. These shoes are called chocolate loafers. They have this triangle, you know, uh, signature logo uh, from uh, Prada, which I love. And uh, I tell you, normally I am not big on big logos, but for this logo, I splurged. <laughs> they did a really good and clever marketing, and it worked on me at least. I um, absolutely love these shoes, and I tell you, I have had them for four months and you'll be surprised when I tell you I have worn them more than these. Can you imagine? I don't know why. Maybe this is more me. You know, this is this uh, mainly, you know, um, androgynous look is uh, what I love. And um, yes, I love them so, so much and they are very comfortable. They both are, uh, by the way, made in Italy. I love wearing these shoes with leggings. You know, I have a pair of beautiful, great quality, by the way, I can really recommend them, by Totem. And I love wearing that leggings with these because they have a split hem, you know, and it looks really good with these shoes. When it comes with jeans or trousers, I think these shoes look a bit better with a bit cropped you know the kind of uh, trousers because you can then show off this logo i know <laughs> i i shouldn't say that probably but you know you pay so much for the logo why not showing it off right i think these shoes for me at least uh, look amazing with trousers especially when the trousers or the jeans or whatever are a bit cropped and you can show off your logo. <laughs> but if you are younger and you wear dresses and skirts, I think these shoes could look amazing on you as well. You just have to be the type of person, you know, and I'm not. So I'm a trousers kind of girl and I think they look good. Having said that, I have styled them with a midi skirt or midi dress actually um you know knitted midi dress uh, with uh, socks looks really good uh, you know on a good day where i feel really confident i could uh, pull it off this way as well but for normal life i enjoy wearing them with trousers even though these shoes have been on instagram so much and uh, you know that was the reason why i was a bit hesitant to get them but in normal life, you don't see them that much. And I mean, at least where I live. And I love that. And I know even though you have the Prada logo, still normal people don't recognize that because if you have it on your feet, it's far the, you know, you can't see that properly, the Prada, you know, writing. Only people who know, they recognize your shoes <laughs> immediately. Of course, you know, fashion lovers, <laughs> crazy fashion lovers like me, we recognize that. But other than that, normal, you know, normal people don't recognize that. And I love that about them. They are still very, very quiet, you know. And let me also tell you, the plateau, or do you call that plateau? I don't know. This uh, sole is quite chunky, right? Especially when I, um, you know, hold it like this. But having them on, they get quiet so they are not as chunky as you would think they are uh, you know having them on and this is another thing i love them what i don't like about them is that i had to go to the main section to get them i mean prada is anybody <laughs> from prada of course they are not watching my video but 
why don't they do size 42 for women? I mean, there are so many women having size 42, right? Am I the only one? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is the only thing because um, a man version, you know, of any shoes are a bit wider and my feet are actually quite narrow. So this is the only thing I don't like about them. And if you are still asking yourself, I don't know which one should I get, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm not, no help here. Uh, but I think it really depends on your style. If I didn't have any of these and you would show me these shoes, I would probably go with these because these look very timeless and, you know, very versatile, right? But to my surprise, I wear these much more and they suit my lifestyle even better. I don't know, because they are a bit extra. I feel just so confident and feel good with this, you know, I feel modern and I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm not helpful, right? <laughs> I don't know which one you should buy. But if you are thinking of getting any of these shoes, I would highly recommend you ordering them online because this way you have them at home you can see how they work with your existing wardrobe because in the store you know you have a different mindset maybe you have a different outfit especially with these high st high end stores you don't go with your uh, running errands you know outfit i assume and um, yes i think it's good to have them at home and wear them with multiple different outfits and see if they work for you these shoes are both transitional kind of leather shoes right but as i mentioned before i have had them now for four months and now we are in february so i have worn them during the winter months and they were great you know with a pair of thick socks they worked really great for me and now in spring i will wear them and also in the you know autumn fall months i will wear them whereas these i wouldn't say they are suitable for winter months they are great for you know spring fall but also for summer if it's not boiling hot you can wear them in summer as well i mean if it's really hot you can't wear anything like this anyway anyway i really hope this video was somewhat helpful but if you still have questions about these shoes let me know in the comment section below this video i love to talk about shoes and bags and fashion anyway and i hope to see you soon on my next one till then take good care of yourself bye bye